Good morning. Hello, First Press. My name is Nicole Magala, and I'm a member at First Presbyterian. And today's Thursday, and my prompt for Lent, the Lenten prayer today, was the disciples followed Jesus seeking answers. What answers do you seek? This is a hard one. Um, you know, today, uh, I'm actually recording this on Sunday, and today's scripture was from the chapter of John and it was about how Jesus cured a blind man and people didn't believe that he was really the son of God curing the blind man and they asked what I think Taylor called bad questions you know asking oh was he a sinner were his parents sinners is that why he was blind to begin with um, instead of really focusing on the true miracle that was in front of them and um, it just kind of made me think uh, I feel like there's answers and all around us. So um, obviously seeking answers is a faith journey and we're always on that, but there are miracles all around us every day and there's grace that's exhibited by people that are in our lives every day. I think we just need to tune in a little bit. Um, sometimes we are all so busy that we don't take quiet time to just tune in and really understand what's happening. Um, I have a sister who was um, diagnosed with stage four stomach cancer a year ago, and she um, she's um, what we think right now disease free. Um, and her oncologist said, you know, why not you? Why can't you be that miracle? And I I agree. I think maybe she is that miracle. Um, she went through a lot of chemo and surgery and she's on a pill that has only been on the market for two years but has never ever been used on her type of cancer which is very rare but there were reasons why they tried this medicine on her and miraculously she doesn't even have side effects from it and she's just doing really well right now and living every day like um i don't want to say like it's her last but just being grateful for life and for things around her and taking advantage of doing fun things and seeing wonderful things around the world um, while she is here on, the, on this earth. And to me, she's just a real inspiration and possibly, possibly that miracle that's right in front of us that um, I hope that uh, people could tune into and really witness. Um, she doesn't live here. She lives in another place. And uh, unfortunately, she, she doesn't really share her cancer story with people. She doesn't want people to know that she has cancer. So um, I, I guess I'm lucky enough to witness it. So that's my story for today. Um, I would like to pray with you all. Dear God, thank you for showing us that there are answers all around us. We just need to be quiet sometimes and tune in a little bit more to see you and to hear you. And thank you for giving us those little glimpses um, it helps us stay on our steadfast on our faith journey, but it's okay, I guess, too, to be, to, to be in wonder of you and your ways. And, um, we just thank you that you were able to send Jesus here and the, and, and that we have the Bible to give us stories that help us follow, um, Jesus's example and lead a life the way that you want us to lead it. Thank you for this day and for this Lenten season and for everybody who's recorded videos. They've all been super inspiring. And for me, they have enabled me to, uh, to seek answers and hear, an hear answers to questions this entire uh, Lenten journey that we've been on. Amen. Have a great week, everybody.